Hey, good morning, everybody. This is The Professor with Day Trading for Success. We've already been trading. We're going to get right back into it in just a minute. Please read this disclaimer. I am not a licensed financial advisor. Please seek the advice of someone that is licensed that you trust before you try to emulate any of these trading strategies. So today, we are going to be still beta testing the brand new half and whole dollar strategy. Um, I do have a brand new script that I'm going to be uh, putting out there that marks all your half and whole dollars for you so you don't have to go so you don't have to do that. I, ha I haven't put it, I'm not going to show it yet on this channel. I'm going to, pretty much it's going to be available over on the Million Dollar Margin Club. But uh, that's where you get most of your best custom scripts. Now on this channel, you should subscribe. And I hope you do because we have 10 free custom indicators here that you can only get here as well as um, layouts that we, you know, shows you how to build them or you can get a layout that's ready for you to upload on your Thinkorswim, as well as how to figure out a scanner so you don't have to buy a service. I mean, there's so many different things we do here. So you should look around on the channel and then make sure you get notices of when all the new scripts or the live demonstrating uh, videos are being made like today. So I have a large group with me on Zoom and we're going to start trading in just a moment this new half and whole dollar strategy. So let me tell you, show you how I've set that up. I, look, I looked at the day chart, right? Actually, I don't need this whole line here. Let me just get that marked out. I was starting to mark them, and then I put in the, uh, the actual um, new script that I've taken it down. But anyway, I'll be just eyeballing the half and whole dollars. So this is the, uh, these are all one-day candles. So I looked at the close of the previous day. Oh, I don't even have it marked here. Okay, I don't have the ATR marked here. Um, normally what I do is I, <laughs> I set a range. But really, it, it's just one more indicator of what it might be. I believe AMD is going to stay inside of our range. So I have here, not to confuse you guys, I, have, uh, I, can't, I don't have time to set it up right now, but I, I have the Fibonacci levels marked. So you should definitely do that. Always left to right. You're looking for a high low. I do it on the bodies. That gives us some support and resistance levels. And then I have another one on a two day five minute. This is a five minute chart. And I mark them again. So now I have multiple levels. Now your ATR levels are probably right around here and here. Uh, so I should eyeball those. So let me just look at what your ATR is for just a second. So the ATR is 583. So if that was the close, we're going to have it down to like 163 roughly and then 170. So it's between or 160, uh, 164 and 170, somewhere at 169, somewhere in there. So 169 to 170. So I mean to uh, 160. Three or four, 164 to 169. That's what I'd say. They're roughly right in that area. So we're right in. We're right in it. Normally I mark those. There's tons of videos that show you how to do it. But since we're going to start to trade in a split second here, let me just make sure we're reconciling here. Seems like we are. We check on the price. Think or swim sometimes has trouble. So I'm looking at the price of this candle versus the market maker here. Now, mostly I'll be using these custom indicators, and that's how I'm going to trade off the Fibonacci levels and the custom indicator levels. That's what you're going to see me do. And then candlestick patterns. So you can see here that the sellers are very strong right at this particular moment. Um, so this is the scalping indicator, which is available for free on this channel. You should get this. And they have three different versions over at the, multi, at the uh, Million Dollar Margin Club. I'll have links to that. That's the sellers. That's the buyers. That's the column is the volume. This is the percentage inside your candle. You can't get a better indicator than this for short-term moves. And this is basically telling us it's going straight down, and you can jump on that move. And then you look for possible support right here at this FIB which is 167.25. So you saw where I marked those levels, and now these other people are doing the same thing. That is your 20 moving average. That is your 9 moving average. Now, this is not really looking like it's for beginners, but if you go and get day trading volume 1, um, the RV strategy, it lays out how to set up exactly the type of trading that I'm doing. I recommend that book. I have a link to it. Day trading volume four is the open strategy. There's four different strategies we made in two minutes. You know, I made a quick 885 bucks. That's like printing money. That's day trading volume four. I have a link to that book, both put out by the Million Dollar Margin Club. Trading in the zone, you're going to want to get that book as well. Yeah, I see it, guys. Um, that's going to help you 
give you the confidence to trade. Best Loser Wins, Tom Hogart. That's another author, another great book. And I'm looking to get into this move right here. So hang on a second here. So C55. Yeah, so we're looking for it to possibly um, break that. If it breaks that FIB, um, we're all trading 1,000. So uh, I'm looking for it to break that FIB to go back up. And let's see if it does or not. I'm looking for a retracement to go back up off that FIB or if it to keep go down. So I'm looking to buy it off the FIB going up, but I don't know if it's going to do it. It may just keep falling, then I will go short. I'm looking at the market maker. I'll show you in a second what that is. I want to get in a trade for everybody's chomping at the bit up there uh, based on all their different indicator and all their different things. I'm going to go ahead and get in right there. I got it at 67.06. God, I thought it, it did. It did pop through it for a second, and then it dropped back off. So, um, yeah, that was, that was interesting how that happened, and that could have been all the people – jumping in at the exact same time. Now, this is the market magnet. I'm going to be keeping a close eye on this. This is, make, keep, keep note that I have this set for today, not one day, today, one minute, and that's how this market magnet works best. These arrows are based on a 50% range telling you to when to go down and when to go up, probability-wise. Um, and you may wonder why I'm taking this trade right here. Or well, right now, you know, I was looking at the five black crows going down. I was looking to get a retracement off the FIB. Often it will pass, and then you look for it to go through. But now I have a morning star down here, too. So this pattern in day trading volume two, or the candlestick pattern playbook, tells me that this is uh, this is sending it to do a little bit. Of, I don't know how high this retracement's going to go. It might just go up to this magnet. So... You know, I'm looking to capture these short moves. I did notice that the sellers on the last one before this didn't make it to the top of the column like the one before. So although the volume went up, a lot of that volume's bottom volume were buyers. So that sort of told me about a reversal. This convinced me of a reversal. And I was already looking for a retracement to go back up toward the magnet. So these are all indicators that I use, and they are like can tell you how to predict the direction of the stock, right? So it's already a great trade. So we're looking to see how long to hold this. Now, I don't have the RV support and resistance levels, which normally is what you guys should get. And that's in the RV strategy book, Day Trading Volume 1. I am trying to develop a new strategy here. So we jumped right on without giving you a lot of background like I normally do um, about what's going on here. So Yeah, I, I don't know, guys. So these arrows could turn it around, and that's the even dollar 168. But this is the high 168.11. Well, it's not really the high high, is it? No, it's not the high. Oh, let me get this straightened out here. Yeah, so we have 68, 68, all the way up here to almost 68.90 is where the high is. So uh, 68, these, these are 68. Uh, that's 68.60. Wow. It's already almost all, though. It's got up to 60. So, yeah, I'm going to be looking at these fibs to turn around because this is not the high. So let's not be confused. So even dollar, 68, we're already there. And then 68.50. But you also have this whole bunch of fibs it's got to go through. So these are serious resistance levels. But I'm keeping a close eye. The magnet hasn't pulled up. Um this is right at the top. This is not done making its move. As you can see, look at the percentage. So get this indicator, guys. Uh, and there's links to all these different indicators and all these different books. And I'm not going to go on and on about it. But if you look under the more information, all the books that really the professionals buy that I believe in, all the indicators. And I'm an indicator-driven strategist, <laughs> if you want to put it that way. Uh, and that's from many, many, many years of trading uh, understanding what you might need, um, particularly if you're a beginner, if you can't read this stuff. Okay, so we passed right through that. Um, these actually tightened. Uh, that's too, wow. So I, I really feel like we need to turn around here sometime very, very soon. So we're at the 57. <sighs> it's really stopping at that second fib. That could be it. Whoop! Oh, wow, it blew through it.
Yeah, it's it's pulling back down now, guys. So let's not lose this. Let's not lose this. Now everybody is responsible for their own trades. I am quarterbacking uh, based on experience, but they they are responsible for everything they want to do up here. I am in a studio. I have Charlie over here handling the chat. Uh, there's a bunch of people off that way, and um, I'm just looking very very closely at the market maker right now for the best possible way to get out right around here. Because if it starts to break down off these fibs, I need to get out of this fast because it could really go down fast because it's, it's getting up the nosebleed level from where it's been right up at its high. Now, that doesn't mean it won't keep going, but I am going to bet on a retracement. And so far, oh, God, I'm just going to take that. What did I get it at? 48. So, uh, well, I'm going to go back up again. I just, I just did a, a bad exit and possibly a bad re-entry. So I'm at 168.52 um, trying to hope it goes back above that fib. I, want, I should have reversed early on up there um, right when it got that, that red candle you see was right near the top, and I didn't do it. Um, And then I tried to catch a retracement off this. This is de definitely a... Now it's starting to make... It could be starting to make a little bit of a bull flag here. So we want to keep an eye on this. Um, yeah, okay. So I'm I'm uh, not, not in the right uh, position here. It's turning around now. There it goes. It's going up now. It was a good first trade, and it started to do this this funny business up here, which is not making me feel real good. But I'm going to actually take that on a reverse. So I'm reversed at 168.64, trying to go short on 168.64. So. At a bit of a, it looks like it's shaping a bit of a bull flag here, so that's a little uh, scary. I mean, I don't have a bad position if it reverses off this flag, but if it if it starts to go up the length of the pole, which is what the pattern calls for, then I'm in a bad position right here. So I'm still betting that this, this flat top breakout isn't completely broken out, but it's hard to tell. This could work against me. So I did break 2K, um, and I am reading the patterns and putting a lot of weight on the patterns over the... Uh, over anything else uh that is more of a bull flag happening so this could shoot way up here so this is the high up here so that's going to keep moving with us which is a great thing about this market magnet indicator uh, that's letting us know what's going on overall for the day these are the parts of the labels for that so i have a link to get this indicator but the magnet hasn't pulled up so i'm not overly thrilled with it uh, you know thinking that it's going to go long i'm thinking more it's going to go short wow yeah i'm i'm now holding for what i thought was going to happen over here now we have an evening star here okay so we had a morning star down here now we have an evening star here turning us around so let's let's keep a close eye. 
Um, now, the seller's only went halfway up down here, so that's conflicting. But look at these multi-chart alignments. This is an amazing indicator right here. This is letting you see what the people who trade the 5-minute, the 15-minute, the 30-minute, the 1-hour, and the 4-hour charts are looking at. They're only looking at those charts to make their decisions. Their candles are all red, so that's a lot of <laughs> bias to go down. This hit the top of the scalping indicators column, even though the volume went down. It's all sellers. So you look at the percentage, it's kind of half and half, but then you look at the overall move of it to help you. So you have more things telling you it's going down, right? You have an evening star, you have multi-chart alignment, you have the scalping indicator, and then you it banked off these two fib, fib levels, so support and resistance is saying down right now. So we're writing it down. We're holding a minute. Everybody can do their own thing. Uh, I seriously think we should hold it for a move down right now um, off this evening star and a failed, a pretty much failed bull flag. Um, so day trading volume two, the candlestick pattern playbook will teach you these. I have a link to it. That's put out by the Million Dollar Margin Club. You should really get that book. I pretty much only have links to books that I believe in with a whole bunch of different authors and for beginners. It's pretty much books that every pro owns, but it's hard for you to find if you're a beginner. So I would look, with, look for those. As far as these scripts, being a professional trader and a scalper, I developed these myself. Used to be a math teacher, and I'm also a coder. And I, now I've been, you know, people want to buy them from me all the time, uh, other companies and things. So um, I have 10 here that are for free, but some of these, like these, this new one here was so popular. Um, that's put out by the Million Dollar Margin Club. They bought that. And this multi-chart alignment, they bought that. So they, they have them over there. And the way you can get them still for free, which is kind of my deal, is free share, is usually by reviewing one of their books. They give you a script for free. And it's, there's all between what I have for free and what they're putting out for free by doing small things to help them. You don't really have to pay for these if you just really look around. And I am going to be doing some promotions. But if you just don't want any shenanigans, you just want to buy them, I think they're 24 or 29 bucks or whatever. They're not expensive. Um, and what just happened there? Is that going to go back up? So right in the middle of nowhere. <sighs> yeah, I wouldn't call this over, although the volume has really drop with the sellers so that is not giving me a high level of confidence holding this down so we do have a bit of a, of a doji here or an inverted uh, um, really inverted hammer should be at the top of a pattern um, so I, I don't know if I, it's not enough to, to make me to get out and now look at now it's going the volumes going up with them at the top so let's let's stick out a little longer here let's see what we got here we're only a few minutes into trading this morning. You'll see me trade about 30 minutes. I have a goal of $5,000 a day. Um, but the whole idea of this channel, the mark, did the magnet just pull down? It did, didn't it? I saw these arrows. So that's like it's just pulling it down. This being set for intraday is so helpful. Now they think a swim does have the volume profile, which is very, very similar. It's not, you're not gonna see it as dynamic moving in like this telling you um, this and you're not going to see the colors telling you and uh, you won't have these labels but you don't really have to pay to get the same data which is really the same with anything like the multi-chart alignment you can open all these charts I mean having it at eye level is so helpful to see what everybody's doing I mean that just really gives you confidence they have another one that's the dashboard the, the day trading dashboard that gives you you know the ask the bid the spread and all the sentiment and everything all at once across a chart of your choice um i would get that one too um i would get these three this one the ma market magnet the uh, multi-chart alignment and the scalping indicator for sure if you're doing any kind of scalping day trading those are like um I believe in them, of course, I developed them, but I, I honestly think that they are, give you a real leg up unless you don't believe in indicators. There's a constant argument about that. <laughs> so, and for those people that don't believe in indicators, we can agree to disagree. I mean, you can get all the data. You, you know, there's no question you can get all that. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip around at the magnet, guys. I got it in a 50 cent, so I got it 167 even dollar. Now I'm doing what we call managing a bad position if it keeps going down. So I'm looking for a retracement. Now, was there anything that told me to do that? This didn't. 
the, the only thing that did was the magnet in these arrows right here. Um, this didn't, the scalping indicator. So two out of three indicators did not say to turn around. One did say to turn around. And then I went by a, a fib being close, figuring I could manage. Now I could have waited till it got to the fib and I'd be, wouldn't be in this negative And I would have had a better, if it does end up going up, a better positive. Also, it was, bre it was stopping right at the five minute. So all of you are going to analyze and email and send me questions. Why did you turn around right there? Well, right now, I was wrong. <laughs> so you would be right to say why I did it. Uh, and I never say it's because I had a feeling. What I'm looking for, cons oh, my God. Um, I'm constantly looking for a retracement. And, uh, yeah, that is not good. That is far worse than I thought was going to happen. Now, this is the point of no return right here. So 166.60 is um wow so i really i really misplayed that one okay so um i have to get out of this position pretty quick here so i'm going to try to take a lesser loss here this this i called this wrong i should have tried to get a resistance on this this one so yeah i definitely that's just a bad trade so now i've got to go i've got to go uh um Yeah, I need to get going short. Uh, the question is, is where do I get going short? How high is it going to let me, you know, how low a loss will it let me go? Or should I just take this hit right here? I need to get going short like ASAP. Um, the candle can throw you off. Be careful. It didn't really go to where it, that dynamic fast move. So I'm looking at the market maker. The even dollar seems to be where it's stopping. So I think I've got the best I'm going to get and take a hit. So this is a bad trade. This is what happens when you get a bad trade. So I'm just trying to save whatever I can save. But, yeah, I'm not look, feeling good about it. <sighs> wow, was that a heavy sigh or what? Was that it? Should I have gotten in there? Yeah, I had a, cho I had a choice to only be 300 and something down. There it goes. I get more quiet when I'm losing. I'm just going to take that there for a hit, guys. It kept me over 3K. Um... I think that was a slight, I mean, we did get a bit of a, of a morning star there. So that is a bit of a reversal sign, but man, I should have just listened to what everything was telling me. So, um, I, I constantly try to catch these retracements. So I push the envelope, you know, there's no question. I push the envelope trying to, to, uh, to catch it as it goes back, then get back in the move, catch it getting back in so catch the retracement so i just got this i just started tried the retracement a little high i should have tried the retracement down here off of this off of this fib not that fib so I just called it wrong you know it happens so i know some of you didn't do that and you're you're way ahead of me and some of you did but everybody is responsible some of you did and then got out right away and some of you held as long as i held um so you know it happens Anyway, so yeah, the so strategy is data dependent on uh, you, you want to set your ATR just like the RV strategy does in day trading volume one. You want to set your FIBS levels just like the RV strategy does on a 10 day and a, and a two day. And then you want to look at half and whole dollar. And then you are data dependent on these, on these indicators. So those of you who have been following along, you already know how to do all that. And I would say that if I didn't cover that thoroughly, for everybody else, I would look back just a few videos or go into the RV uh, strategy playlist. There's like a hundred videos. Wow, see that's so you're well you're well over four thousand up there. So yeah, that's what happens. I'd be over four thousand because not only would I have caught, caught the move continuing to go down, I would have caught the he did catch it correctly. It looks like two people did. Yeah, we got two people that are forty one hundred. Um, so the only way they did that is by catching this move, and they beat me. And then everybody else is about where I'm at or a little below. Um, 
you know, it could be hard not to panic. Um, but, uh, you know, you want to have my max loss was a thousand. I never hit it. I was close and I was debating whether I was going to get out, even, you know, following my own. You should always have a trading plan, always have a max loss per trade, a max loss per day. Um, and then uh, my max loss is usually what my share size is, size is per trade. Never expected AMD. Oh, man, this is really just consolidating right in the middle of between levels, right at that 167 uh, even dollar amount, which is if I had that marked, which is the new strategy would have told me that to play off these levels a little bit. Um, but I'm kind of losing the. Yeah. Could have definitely caught that scalp and I didn't. And now I'm still green, but man, I left some money on the table again, you know, because I see a 4,300 up there. So he's going up and I'm not. Could have tried to get it again there. Uh, I will, I'll try to catch that. Don't shoot straight down now. Are you seriously going to do that the second I tried to catch one of those moves? Give me a break now. Wow. How bad do I let it get? Oh, no. I'm going to turn around. <laughs> I am not calling this consolidation well. I'm sure you all know what I mean. It happens to all of us. I, I looked like it was just going to keep going, so I just said, don't wait for 500 up here. You know, just get out. So I'm still over three. Two bad trades. Usually I just stop a minute when I get two bad trades. I feel like I'm in the right position. So when I get a bad trade, you know, consistently, I know something's jumbled up here. I'm not reading it correctly. I know I believe the overall move is down. Everything's saying that. So if I'm going to sit back and just stop trading for a minute, be in the position that the overall move is, which is being short. Wow, see, it just made a new low. So there it goes. Do I dare try to catch this? Now I need to try to catch up, you know. Well, if I keep trading like this, I will not make the 5K, that's for sure. Now, I don't know if it's got the strength to get all the way down to this fib and keep going down without a retracement in here. But I have not been getting good at catching these retracements. Ah, uh, see, it looks like it is retracing right there. Probably could have caught a couple hundred bucks right there. Yep. Oh, man. That is not looking good. So we just created another morning star here. The beginning of a tweezer here. Nope. Okay, so it broke it. it almost got me there. I'm going to take it there and try to catch a little bit of a retracement. Oh, I had one for a second and then lost it. Uh, was that it? That was the retracement and now I've lost it. Okay. So I've got it 166.47 and it's going to keep going down on me here. Reversing again, 166.44. At least I didn't lose it on that. I caught a little bit there. Wow. All right, guys. I'm, okay, I'm going to take it at the 25 and try it again. I got to 3,500 the hard way. <laughs> I know. I see a couple of well over four grand up there. I'm just, uh, uh, not everybody can be aces. 
So, again, I am trying to catch this, these little steps. See if we can get, whoa, whoa, did that actually happen, or is that fake? We gotta be careful, these shadows. Uh, yeah, that didn't actually happen, did it? Oh, man. Killing me. Seems to be, I, I feel like I might be having some pretty big slippage too, guys. That's part of the other problem, but that that retracement didn't actually happen like that. I did not see that happen like that. I mean, I suppose that's almost like it's a high frequency algorithm that made a whole body rather than a wick. That's a little annoying to me. Maybe I'll look back and see on the video to see if that actually happened that way. Didn't seem like it did. It might just bang off of this and go down, and I make wow. So that's the best trade in a little while there. I'm going to take that for a minute. I'll take it back. I got it to 3,800 on a couple of quick squeezes there, a couple of quick snaps, so to speak. Looking for maybe 167 if it breaks that. If that breaks that 6660, or did I, should I just stay well enough alone and gotten out? Is this really where it's going to turn around and I should get right back short? I'm trying to catch these guys. Definitely making risky moves. I do not recommend reversing. Those of you watching, you can have that turned on with Thinkorswim, but it's not a smart move because you slip both ways. Now, they do guarantee. 2.7 times liquidity, so and the numbers you see down there are multiplied by 100. So you should be able to get filled on Thinkorswim, but do you really want to if you're slipping like crazy? So you break 4,000 on this. Can we get me this 167? I'm going to reverse at 167, guys, if it gets there. Close. 80, 81. 83, 84, it might just tap it or not make it at all. Wow, it's slowing down. I'm getting, oh, there was an 86. I'm getting ready to reverse, maybe a little before 167. That's a pretty good trade, $200. It pricked me over 4K. Well, for a second, I was, uh, I'm going to take that. I'm going to reverse again to go up. I know that was a little crazy. I, I'm just trying to ca capture the little moves here. You know, the, the buyers were still, they still didn't make it to the top, but they were still prevalent there on that. Um, and our five minute is green. So short term, that's a short term scalp. That's what I'm trying to catch short term right now based on the indicators and the even dollar. Yep, could have left well enough alone at 4K up there. Second guessing myself a little bit today. It's, it's, uh, it's hard, some hard action to, to trade with 1,000 shares because I am getting slippage and I'm getting more because of the reverse, reversal. I probably wouldn't get anywhere near as much slippage on 500 shares, but then, of course, I wouldn't have the opportunity to make this much money either. So, you know, you get that in there. Good with the bad, the good with the bad. Wow, that could really be it. Although it is resting on top of this Fibonacci level. So um, there's 167, it's way up here, right here. So that's, that's probably a lot to ask for. I'm willing it. I need the prayer indicator up here. That's another indicator that's offered. Um, I have link, I'll have links to all this stuff, guys. There we go. Come on, like, like push it a little further this time. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready to go even for a lesser loss if this doesn't 
make a break out here. There's a little bit back up to the 80 cents. Don't want to get out too soon if it's actually going to pump way up there. 80 again, 83, 85, 86. Wow, that was that was better for a while. I like to make over 100 bucks on the 90. That's the first 90 I've seen. 93, 91, 90, 92, 95. I'm going to take that. 97. And that got me well over 4,000. So if it doesn't keep pushing up, I'll be fine. If it reverses, then that's good. So wasn't enough to make any bull flag here. What have we got down here? This is more of a bear flag for me, which is good if it turns around here. Um, our buyers are really, really low volume. See how low it got for the buyers? 88. So, uh, and then our multi-chart alignment still says short. So I knew I was definitely... All of this was definitely risky to stay long, according to the indicators. But I'm still I'm still fine being red here, a couple three hundred bucks, thinking it's going to turn around. But I can't be sure, of course. I'm going to try to squeak out the five K, guys. It's I'm having to take some chances because well, I took chances earlier and I blew it, and that's why I'm in this position of not getting not being there yet <sighs> okay so a couple of your so I'm only like 400 behind now so at one point I was like 800 behind so I did something right there um, we always are competing you know so I'll go over this a little bit uh, we're gonna stop trading in about three minutes we're gonna stop Charlie's going to, she's handling all the chat, is going to figure out wh how accurate we all were. Um, she has a whole thing, document set up to do that quickly, and who won the top gross, and then we have our own competition between us. Uh, but then once everybody marks their, where they are, which just takes a screenshot in a few seconds, then um, they can continue to go on trading. I will, if I make my five, I will stop. Um, I mean, I'll stop either way to go over stuff with you guys for a minute and explain a little bit more what you're looking at um, and then talk about some of the future promotions we might be having coming up soon. Now, I am going to be doing some traveling um, soon coming up, um, and I will not be trading on uh, mic'd up on that travel. So you, I will be off a little bit, but there will probably be some videos still being released that are in the uh, – that have never been released before. So you could look for those, but you might not see me uh, as, as uh, current on the time zone. Wow, okay. Cover. Can we get all the way down? Can we drop below down there? Uh, I'm over by now, cover just to get to stop for the day because um, there's only a minute and a half left and I don't want to lose what I do have trying to do something. Oh, God. Oh, man, come on. Yeah, I could have captured that and been closer, you know. Sure did not tell me that was going to happen. Sometimes no matter what you have up, Magnet hasn't pulled down to keep telling us we're going to go short, but everything else is like short, short, short. And you won't see this magnet move as much with this lower volume, and which is kind of what we expected with AMD. If this was Tesla or NVIDIA, uh, you know, some of these other stocks that move so, man, that they move so fast that... Um, Is that going to actually, is this actually turning around here? Like this was just a short reprieve. I mean, the buyers didn't even make it barely halfway up this column. Everything else is saying down, down, down. Why would we possibly be going up? What person is not getting on the right train? <laughs> Come on, you guys, let's work together. We're going down right now. 
Now, we are going to be having the swear indicator. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we do have the prayer indicator. We do have the power of the force indicator. They basically do what the scalp. They do what the scalping indicator does. Not basically, but they just make it more interesting to follow along. If you're if, okay, now we're talking. Now we're talking. I'm getting ready to get out, guys. Even if it's not 5K here, because I already. Uh, oh no, this is including my eight, 800. It wasn't on a different uh, stock. On the open strategy. So yeah, I was thinking I get to add the open strategy profits to this. If I don't make my goal, that means I have to go into the power hour or trade a little bit after I'm not mic'd up here. But, I mean, it's not like I can't take the week's average or something and be just fine. Um, it's been really good for a lot of people making fifty, seventy-five thousand dollars $75,000 a week. I mean, it's been really good. Um, wow. Wow. That is so close to my goal right there. Will it get any lower than that? I'm on, I'm over time, but I'm just thinking about this last candle. I'm just gonna get out there. 46, 4,685 guys. So to just go over a little bit about what we did here. So that's my total for the day. Um, everybody else is gonna stop now so we can add up. Or they took a picture, a screenshot of exactly where they were and they're keeping continuing to trade. Um, but anyway, just to go over what I didn't have a lot of time for. So this is the market magnet, and this is an incredible indicator. There's the magnet right there. This gives you the peak and the trough, the 50. That's what those arrows are. So we've dropped below out of that. So price is going to be drawn toward that unless volume picks up. Slowly, it's going to, you know, meander its way back up unless we get a lot of volume that goes down. That's, I mean, nothing's for sure, obviously. Um, and then this is the high and low of the day. High and low is, gives you the band. And this is the inner band within that, which is tweaked for large cap, mega cap stocks, which is what the RV strategy primarily is, a $25 billion uh, minimum uh, market cap and a $1 billion minimum float. So that's the stocks that you look for. They have scanner settings to set up to find them, but mostly it's the stocks everybody knows about. Um, so, you know, you can pick that and there's a criterion to set it up and to pick your stock in day trading volume one. Now I'm creating some strategies outside of that strategy, um, just to add, you know, some different ideas for people and they will be indicator heavy, you know, because I feel like if you have the right indicators, you can literally see the future. So I called it wrong a couple times today, but overall, I did pretty good. Now, if somebody was trading uh, side by side with the RV strategy, I kind of feel like they still might have done better than this um, because I don't think I would have missed these moves in here if I had the right support and resistance levels with channels. That's why I love the RV strategy so much. I would still say that if you're a beginner and you're looking for, you, you need to get used to the tools that you're using on Thinkorswim or whatever, whatever platform you have. So you want to trade in a simulator, get very, very used to the tools before you attempt to trade the open. Make sure you're profitable in a, in a sim and you have a max loss per trade, like you really have a day plan, a trading plan that you stick to, which is the hardest thing in trading. It's the hardest thing. But if, if you've done that, then I do think the easiest way to make $100, $200, $500 a day is the open strategies put out by Day Trading Volume 4. They are absolutely printing money type strategies. So that's very new in the words just getting out of sort of the revolutionary thing, not to sound too dramatic, that they did that changed it from just being another breakout range to being something different that nobody had done before that I'd ever seen. And that's why I highly recommend Day Trading Volume 4 and its companion book that has the Holy Grail. See, volume's starting to pick up here. Yeah, it just picked up. See how it's coming across? So that might pull this magnet down because it's right here. See where it's all consolidating? So it's showing you now. That's previous data. But that's the market magnet now. And these are starting to turn green. So now it's more like, you know, ride it going up. Scalping indicator, the market, oh, the market magnet pulled down. Did you see it? Now that's going to try to hit it down. So 
I don't, you know, I'm not sure which way. If I had to read this right now, it's half and half. You have conflicting because now your multi-chart alignment saying go up, but your previous volume is saying no, it's all down here. That's where people are waiting. So there's something drawing it down. This is all up, up. This is down, down, and this is split. But this multi-chart alignment is really good. So whatever you're going to trade here, get ready to flip back and forth. It's probably going to do some consolidation and come back down a little bit. Um, before it continues to go up, if it, if it continues to go up at all. So overall, it's been swaling down if you look at the 15-minute and the 5-minute chart here. So um, I think I probably, if I had reversed down here a few minutes ago when I was thinking about it and, and didn't just get out, I could have broken my 5K right there, you know. So that I would have I would have captured that. So I feel kind of stupid. But you look, we're only talking a couple hundred bucks. I can get that, you know, in a split second or on any stock. So, um, you know, not to sound overconfident, but I mean that's pretty easy to get. But that these these indicators here are key along with this one. These are the three I believe in the most. The other one I get is the day trading dashboard, and then I am going to be putting out a brand new one, which are the half and whole dollars. I was having trouble using it and it was slowing, it was glitching my, the, it, you can sometimes get so much on your single screen that it starts to slow down or it makes things um, not read as properly. So I, I am tweaked for a very, very fast platform that is key. So if I were to use it, I would, you know, I would probably, when I have anything that slows me down, I open up another, open another thinkorswim. You can do more than one. You can do 5, 10, 20, whatever. And I would find this fastest one that's using the least amount of memory, and I would put it on a different um, monitor here. But that's not going to help me when I'm trying to find everything right in my eye space, you know. So if I put 50 cent in, in whole dollar lines on another screen, that doesn't help me. So... Anyway, guys, um, hopefully this was helpful to you. Uh, um, it's always kind of fun when people are trading along. And um, be careful Be careful out there. Stay inquisitive. Look for our new drops. They're, they're all the time. Look for our new indicators. You know, we constantly come out with stuff, and we appreciate your support. So stay inquisitive and go green, guys. We'll see you soon.